In this video, I want to demonstrate how to calculate the tool start and end positions for our 3 8 end mill as it cuts the end of the part as shown here. As we have already discussed, we'll be programming the cutter to move around the part as shown on the right side of the screen from the start to the end position. In the upper right hand corner, we can see the coordinates that we calculated earlier. These represent the part geometry coordinates, or as we see in the picture on the left, these coordinates are the location where the tangent edge of the cutter touches the part as it moves around the part profile from the start to the end. If you study the image on the right, you can see there are two distinct paths. The path the center of the cutter follows and the path the tangent edge follows, which is the part profile. When we create a milling program, we always program the center of the tool. We are self-centered this way. Over the next few videos, we'll program this part profile by coding the cutter center and by coding the part profile. But first, we need to calculate the remaining chart values. Let's begin by calculating the X coordinate for the cutter center at the start position. To calculate this, I'll start with the length of the part, which is 1.969, then minus the part radius of 0.197, then I'll minus the 0.2 radius because the arc sweeps through 90 degrees, and the X coordinate will be 1.572. Next, the X coordinate for the cutter tangent edge will be 1.572 minus the cutter radius, which equals 1.3845. Then the Y value for the center of the cutter at the start will be negative 1.496 minus the cutter radius minus the 0.2 arc, which equals negative 1.8835. The Y value for the tangent edge will be the same, negative 1.8835. And at position 1, the X center of the cutter value will be the same as the X of the part geometry, 1.772. The Y for the cutter center at position 1 will be negative 1.496 minus the cutter radius, which equals negative 1.6835. At position 2, the Y cutter center will be the same as the Y of the part geometry, negative 1.299. The x for the cutter center will be the part length, 1.969, plus the cutter radius, which equals 2.1565. At position 3, the cutter center y coordinate will be the same as the part geometry, negative the part radius, which is negative 0.197. The x coordinate for the cutter center will be the same as position 2, 2.1565. At position 4, the x for the center of the cutter will be the same as the part geometry, 1.772. The y for the center of the cutter will be the cutter radius, 0.1875. At the ending position, the x for the cutter center will be 1.969 minus the part radius minus the 0.2 arc radius, which equals 1.5772. The x for the tangent edge of the cutter will be 1.572 minus the cutter radius, which equals 1.3845. The y for the cutter center and the tangent edge will both be the cutter radius plus the 0.2 arc radius, which equals 0.3875. Now that all the positions are known, the next step is to add these coordinates to the GNM code, which we'll do in the next video.